morning guys. Today we're going to do some yoga stretches for running. So I'm um, working on our legs and our hips. Okay, so just uh, probably about 10 minutes. Okay, so we always want to keep a strong core throughout any stretching, just like throughout any other physical activity. Um, so holding that belly button in nice and strong. We can remind ourselves to do that by tucking the pelvis under. Pull the shoulders back and again. Great, keeping that nice tall posture. Taking a couple of big breaths up and exhale. And again up. This time taking the hands together at the top, take that right foot, the heel forward, soften that left leg and push in forward, feeling that stretch all the way up the back of the leg, scooping the hands forward, holding that belly strong, sweeping up and again pushing down, nice and fluid and smooth, no jerky movements, stretching all the way from the Achilles all the way up to the butt, coming up and the other side, softening that leg, pushing all the way down, pushing it out, holding it there, bracing the belly, I hope, is that exciting? Scooping up, and again, exhale, scooping forward, keeping that back nice and strong, and coming up. Right, taking the right foot across the left, Again, holding that belly strong, tucking the chin into the chest, rolling all the way down, leading with the fingertips, hanging as far forward as you can, peeling the toes up off the mat of that back foot. So you've got an even deeper stretch up the back of the leg. Pushing that heel in, and I want you to draw the chest down even further, which intensifies that stretch up the back of the leg. Place that foot down, changing sides. So left foot comes across the right, peel the toes off and draw your chest down, holding that here. You should feel a stretch from the Achilles heel all the way up to the top of the butt. Nice and strong. Great, we're just going to lengthen out through the back and through the body by coming to downward dog here. Pushing the heels into the mat, heels of the hands. So in this position, the kneecaps are forward, the hips are lifted, and the earlobes are just brushing the inside of the arms. Push it back. Softening the knees a little as you bring the right foot forward. And we're going to stretch into the pelvis and the hips. So we're in a high lunge. The knee is 90 degrees straight above the ankle. And just gently lower that pelvis down as you look up stretching into the hip flexor. I'm going to add a little bit of a rotation for the spine here. Push the opposite hand into the floor, lifting the other hand up. Nice gentle twist here. Stretching into the hips as well as twisting in the spine. Bring the hand down, taking the stretch a bit further, walking the foot across the body, lowering the pelvis down. Rolling over onto the pelvis as we walk the hands forward and reach into pigeon pose. On each exhale here, just release into that butt, release into the hips. And pushing the hands firmly into the floor, coming back to downward dog, pushing into the back of the legs. Lifting up on the hips, kneecaps are forward, looking between the hands, earlobes just touching the inside of the arms. Soften the knee down. This time bringing the other foot forward, left foot forward. Okay, so this is the lower option, having the knee on the floor, otherwise high lunge here. Okay, so lower that pelvis down, stretching into the hip flexor. If you do want to take this deeper, you can bring the hands inside of the foot and then lower the elbows down towards the floor. But don't take it to the point of pain. Pushing the right hand into the floor, lifting up in the left. Bring the hand down, dropping in the knee, walk the foot across the body. And we're coming to pigeon pose on the other side. So lowering the pelvis down. Hello, my dog. Walking the 
walking the hands forward, breathing into the pelvis. Ellie, what are you doing? Go inside. Thank you. Hey Jack, go inside. Come on. Keep breathing on each exhale, just let go a little bit more on the hips and the pelvis. <laughs> stretching in the back of the legs, softening off one leg at a time. If you've got issues with plantar fasciitis, take hold of the top of the feet and gently draw those feet towards you. You can have bent legs here, stretching those muscles in the bottom of the feet. Sitting up tall, walking the hands up, taking the left leg across the right. So, this is your basic version with the legs straight. Alright, if you want it a bit deeper, bend that leg, so that you, but you need to be able to stay sitting on both butt cheeks. Right, again big breath in, twist across the body, take hold of the knee, draw it across the body so that you can feel a stretch into the butt cheek. This is also stretching into the ITB, so a really good way to stretch into those parts of the leg that can get really tight for runners. Looking behind, looking for mobility in the neck, in the spine, as well as stretching into the butt. Draw that knee across. Come back to the front. Little stretch for the hips in between. Soles of the feet together. Encourage the knees down. Pushing the chest forward. Keep that chin up. Opening in the hips. Often our hips can get really tight when we're runners. And it can lead to lots of other problems in the lower back. We can get really tight hamstrings and that compounds things as well. Release. So again, you can have the leg straight or tucked up and under, taking the leg across, sitting with both butt cheeks on the floor, sitting nice and tall. Good breath in. You're excited, Hope. You're having fun. Come across the body, draw the knee across, looking behind. If it hurts the neck at any point, just look forward, keeping everything nice and soft. Keep drawing that knee across, feel the intense stretch in the butt. stretch into the hips, taking those knees down, using the elbows, pushing the chest forward, chin up, not scrunching in the spine, sitting tall, always keeping things nice and long. And release, coming onto our knees, taking the fist to the small of the back, coming to camel pose, squeeze the elbows together, so we've got the fists into the back, pushing the pelvis forward. If you want to take this a bit deeper, take the hands to the heels. Coming back up. Okay, a really good stretch if you get plantar fasciitis is to put the toes onto the floor and gently sit down. So you can do this if you're watching telly or just hanging out at home. Really good way to stretch into the feet, keeping it nice and gentle. Another good way that you can sit if you get sore feet when you're running is sitting on the heels and that develops the muscles in the arches of the feet so just sitting like that okay um, i'm going to go towards a little bit of a deeper stretch into the um, quads in the hip flexors so taking the feet just slightly outside the legs just outside the butt walking the hands back as far as you can so you might be able to rest on your elbows here okay, if you can take it a bit further come all the way down to the ground Keeping the knees flat, reaching over the head. 
So it's a good way to stretch into the lower back as well. Keeping that belly strong. Keeping the knees down, stretching from the kneecap all the way up to the hip flexors. Where are you off to? Going for a wander. And holding the belly strong, using the hands to push up. Just a gentle relax off in child's pose, releasing through the back. Roll up in the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And roll the shoulders. And you're done. Hope that helps. Thanks, guys. Come here, you gorgeous thing. What have you found? You found some leaves. Oh, aren't they cool? It's a rose. You found a 